What's going on guys? You are checking out Qjit HQ. I am your host Chris, and in today's video we're going to be checking out the Sony PlayStation 4 DualShock 20th Anniversary Controller and Headset. Um, I was really excited for this controller, not so much for the headset, but we're going to open it, review it. This is cool. It's like nostalgia right here. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. So here we have the actual headset and controller. I'm going to open the controller first because I am more excited for that than the actual headset. The front of the box, you have the PS logo on the top left with the 20th anniversary symbol. The side just gives you its compatibility. And on the back, it explains the controller in detail. Everything from the touchpad down to the dual shocks and the triggers. Okay, so let's get this controller out of the box so we can get a better look at it. Slides out like so, and you agree with this small piece of paper that comes with all the controllers. Just with all their rights and stuff like that. Real boring stuff. The controller itself is a two-tone matte gray finish, just like an original PS1 controller looked. The analog sticks are identical. The uh, triangle, circle, X, and square, even down to the D-pad, all identical. The home button is the original PlayStation symbol. The back, uh, darker gray, is a grip finish for comfort so you don't drop this thing out of your hand while you're playing. Here is an original PlayStation 4 controller compared to the 20th anniversary controller. Uh, if you're a collector, in my opinion, this is a must-have. This is my favorite controller Sony has released since the launch of the system. The original symbol down to the original buttons, it's just, it's a classic. It's a must-have. So let's get into the headset and see what's up with that. The front of the box, you're greeted with the words, Gold Wireless Stereo Headset, PlayStation 20th Anniversary, How Games Were Made to Sound. On the other side of the box, it tells you to download their app for custom audio modes. And on the bottom, it tells you it's compatible with the PS3, the PS4, the Vita, it is compatible with Mac and Windows 7. I have tried Windows 10 and it did work for me. The back of the box, it tells you how to use the actual headset and a couple other things that it comes with. This side of the box over here tells you it has 7.1 digital surround sound, comes with a four foot cable, internal mic, built in battery, everything here, even a travel pouch, quick start guide, safety and support guide. Uh, let's open this up and see what we have inside the box itself. Inside the box, you are greeted with a smaller blue box attached to the handle. You can go ahead and just slide that out pretty easily. And you are greeted with the words, Greatness Awaits with a pull tab. Sony always has some pretty decent packaging. You have the PlayStation symbol up top and the headset wrapped in plastic. Uh, the headset feels kind of light, which is kind of a good thing. We're going to get into that in a minute. Let's see what else is in the box. Here you have the actual paperwork, the USB cable, uh, the charge cable, everything like that. This is the wireless adapter, which is small, which is cool, and the sleeve to carry it in and protect it when you're not using it. You are greeted with the original PlayStation symbol on both sides and the classic gray. The buttons around the actual headset are very easy to manage, but it's very uh, uncomfortable, the headset itself. I mean, the earpieces are okay, but since it's so round, it comes to a point on the top of your head, even though the height is adjustable, it's just not a comfortable headset. It did cut out when I was playing Battlefield and Infamous on my PlayStation, but uh, when I played on my Windows 10, it worked fine. They do store away, but they still are very, very bulky when you fold them up, as you can see here. My friend Angel's going to go ahead and sport them for you. He's not a huge fan of them either, as you can see here. The controller itself retails for $64.99 USD, and the headset retails for $100 USD. I would skip the headset and get the controller, but if you're a collector and have to have everything like I do, hey, I hear you. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought. If you guys picked these up, I want to know. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe. See you on the next one.